Hi everybody, Tim here. Going to briefly discuss two Google Classroom workflow issues that I've seen a lot of teachers having issues with, GeoGebra to Google Classroom that is. So I'm going to address them here in this brief video. I'm going to try to make it as quick as I can. We'll take an IM OUR lesson. We will go to the dots. We'll create a Google. We'll create an assignment uh, in Google Classroom from this activity here. Google Classroom. I'll choose my IM test class that I have here, and I will assign it. Now the teacher view is shown on the left. The student view is shown on the right. Here we have student Jack Frost logged in. Uh, Google has been uh, Google at you, a Google Classroom, whatever, has been a little slower lately. I think there's a lot of people on it. But we can open the assignment in Classroom as follows. See, and the stream. If if Jack can go to Classwork here, the stream's updated. Here's here's his work. Okay, so we can go to it and let's go to view assignment. Well, there it is. So we can click on the GeoGebra Activity link right there. And it's going to prompt the student to sign in. So here we go. We sign in again as Jack Frost. Okay. But teachers, here's what's very important. When, before your students begin the work here, it's very important for the student to go down to the very bottom to check to see if a turn in button is there. Okay. Um, with all the issues going on with workflow and stuff everywhere, for some reason, the turn in button isn't showing up right away. But if Jack Frost clicks on his uh, name again, the J there, or the letter that appears just one more time, that should be the magic touch to make it work. See how turn in is now there? And uh, that helps complete uh, the connection there. Okay, Used to complete by itself, but somewhere between now and then something happened, and I'm not sure why. GeoGebra is aware of it, Okay, so and they'll look into it. But right here, to see if there's anything that they can do. Again, I'm not sure if it's a GeoGebra thing or a Google thing or a combo of both, but I'm just saying, um, as a support for teachers, this is what I'm noticing here. So Jack starts working, right? But you as a teacher can go in and look at Jack's work at any time. If you go to student work right here, and we can go to all students, and see that one has been assigned there. Now Jack Frost. Now the GeoGebra link isn't there yet, but you might have to refresh it once or twice. Again, the workflow has been very slow. I might have to do it even yet a third time to refresh. It will show up eventually. Uh, it just might take a second, uh, a couple seconds longer than you're used to. Okay, and see, it just appeared. Again, we all, we all have to be patient everywhere. Click on Jack's work as a teacher, and you'll see that it's going to look like just the way he left it right here. Okay, and there it is. And if Jack, uh, even if Jack makes a change, let's move this guy all the way on top of maybe this one here, right? We'll put it like next door there, or leave it like that. Okay, I'll refresh that as a teacher, still in Jack's work, to see what he did, right? And it might take two refreshes to do it, or uh, in this case, ah, it did it in one. That's cool. All right, so that's one thing to note. Okay, first item, make sure the turn in button appears. Okay, now when Jack turns it in, you can obviously turn it in. But now, let's suppose Jack leaves this and wants to go back to it later. Okay, another thing teachers have been uh, having uh, uh, talking about with students having workflow issues is that they go back to Google Classroom and they go to their assignment, right? When Jack clicks on when then Jack clicks on this, he notices, hey, you know what? It's 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 a blank. But the the key is to always go to view assignment and hit your work. In fact, let me go back to the test class here and see Jack may go to the stream. Okay, well there it is, but again, always make sure that Jack goes, the student goes back to his or her work. Click If you click on this, you'll get a blank copy again, which you don't want. Go back to where it says your work, click on what you started, and yes, Jack's gonna have to log in again since he went out and came in, all right? But here, let's give it a second, sign in as Jack Frost. Make sure turn in button appears. Oh my gosh, I don't see it, click on the letter. Do it again. It's it's 10 more seconds of hassle. I get it. But you know what? At least now, uh, you and Jack will not have any issues from this point on. Uh, I hope this video helps uh, many of you who have been having issues with the Google Classroom workflow. And uh, I'm optimistic that it will improve over time.